Two of the following videos are true Dang. while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. Chicken. You can actually use a lemon to charge your phone like this. A single lemon has enough <laughs> electrolytes to charge most phones about 5%. No, that's not how a galvanic cell works. You're going to need to put a couple of dissimilar metals like zinc and copper in there in order to make a galvanic battery. But even if you did, you're going to need like 10,000 of them to charge your phone and probably all the lemons in the world to power reactor coolant pump. Heat causes objects to expand in a process called thermal expansion. Mm -hmm. Due to this phenomenon, the Eiffel Tower increases in height by around 6 inches or 15 centimeters in the summer compared to winter. Thermal expansion is an even bigger deal for a reactor coolant system because you're talking temperatures of upwards of 350 degrees Celsius. Even going up just a couple of degrees going to make a noticeable change on water level in your reactor system. Grab some bananas as weight and hang them on some copper wire. Then okay. grab an ice cube and let the copper wire rest on the ice. Ice melts under pressure and the weight of the bananas allows you to slice the ice cube in half. It takes a bit of time so I sped it up here. Oh sure, I've done stuff like that all the time as a kid. <laughs> yeah, gravity pressure. But easy. once the copper wire makes it to the bottom, it cleanly snaps through. You've now seen all three videos, pause to vote in the comments. Number one was fake, has to be. Which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was fake, well then you'd be correct. Okay. Although lemon juice yeah. can be the electrolyte in a- Okay, there you go. There's a diagram of a galvanic cell. Simple battery, which I'll do in an upcoming video. This is not how it works. I instead screen recorded my phone being charged there and played go. that video before starting. You're gonna need a whole lot of them too.